guys, Assalamualaikum So for today's video is going to be a travel tips video Because I have been receiving a lot of questions And people asking me on Tumblr and Instagram and anywhere else about my travel tips uh, About how I plan my travel, my budget and everything So I am going to help you guys And for information, uh, this is a travel tips mainly for a budget trip because we're still students so I always have to find the cheapest everything cheapest accommodation, transport, flight and everything so I have traveled quite frequently I have traveled to London, Paris, Italy, Egypt, Hungary, Amsterdam, Belgium and Greece oh, no no no, Bloom Greece <laughs> and my friends also have traveled quite frequently so we sat down and kind of discussed about the tips and how we plan the route and everything and there are 11 points that I would like to share with you the first point is you must to know where you want to go. For example, you want to go to Italy because you want to go to Venice but you don't know what else they have in Italy. So I am going to introduce to you guys this one handsome, well, I don't know if it's handsome but he is very smart and he knows everything in this world and he is Mr. Google. So yes, you can ask Mr. Google where you want to go in Italy. There's a lot of places in Italy, Florence, Milan and everything. You can check everything there. You just have to type places to go in Italy. The second point is safety. Is it a safe country and worth to go? For example, Egypt. I went to Egypt before the chaos happened. But now, if someone asked me do I want to go to Egypt, I would say no because even though things in Egypt are quite calm right now, but I'm not sure. There's another person I would like to introduce to you and she's a girl. She is so sassy and she knows every goddamn beautiful place. She's also a hipster. Introducing Miss Tumblr! So yeah, I always go on Tumblr and you can use the tags for the country that you want to go and she will give you the most beautiful places that you would want to go in Italy. I don't think you have to consider a flight price if you're a very rich person but for me, I consider flight price. For example, Italy. It was like 1,000 uh, ringgit Misha from Jordan to Italy. So I was like, let's go, that's cheap! Like if the ticket is like 3,000 or 2,000 something, I might want to reconsider. The second point is how many days? One week, two weeks or three weeks? For me, it is just two weeks because two weeks is enough for me because travel is very exhausting. But for some people, they prefer three weeks because, I don't know, they have so many activities or so many places to go. So it really depends. And the second is you really need to know the season, which season you want to go because some of the places in summer will be really beautiful but not during the winter. But there are also places in winter which is so magnificently beautiful that summer cannot compete. So you might want to google something places to go in Italy during summer or during winter. The third plan is... Third plan? <laughs> the third point is plan a route. Now first of all, after you have decided where you want to go and everything, and then you want to make a table or maybe mind maps or whatever you're comfortable with. Personally for me, I love to make table. So you might want to decide how many days you want to spend in one place or how many days you want to spend on this place, on that place so that you can have the exact date. Because those dates are really important for you to book your hotels or your transport because they need the date. I would prefer for you to plan a, the cheapest route. It is so normal for you to open like a thousand tabs to really find the cheapest route, how you want to find the cheapest route and that is when your transport or your train or your flight plan from one place to one place in that particular country comes in maybe from Florence, Milan, Venice is cheaper than Florence, Venice, Milan that is when you want to check the cost from one place to one place and there are certain dates that the, the, the blah 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 there are certain days that the ticket is cheaper on this one particular day than this one particular day and so you might want to check the dates that is why you need the dates so you might want to consider going to Milan on this day instead of this day because this one is cheaper than this one the third is visa or pass you might want to check if that country needs a visa or a pass <sighs> seriously the fourth point is money plan I will make a lot of envelopes and I will divide the money into accommodation money uh, shopping money, transport money, or food money. So that depends on your plan. The fifth point is transport. In particular, the transport in the country itself. Train, flight, bus, or cruise. I would go the one with the cheapest. And then you might want to check the duration of your transport from one place to one place because it can save on accommodation. For example, if you're going from one place to one place in a bus, which requires the whole night for you to get there, you can simply save your money for the accommodation because you can sleep on the bus. Third is subway. First, of course, you might want to get the maps and everything for you to know the railway station. And then you... Oh, 
And then I hope you know about day pass and bundle tickets. I don't really know about that because my friend bought it for me. But a bundle ticket if you buy a bundle of tickets. Those kind of tickets usually will cost you less money than buying one ticket every time you want to get on a train. The sixth point is accommodation. The websites that I always use to find an accommodation are Airbnb, Ibis, Hostel Booker and Booking.com. I will link all of these websites in the description down below so you can check it yourself. And there's another one which is called Couch Surfing, which is just you crashing into someone's place that you don't know without paying anything and make friends. Second thing about accommodation is make sure you pick a place which is convenient for you to go back and forth from the bus station or any transport station to your place which preferably a walking distance because I'm pretty sure your bags is heavy as hell and it is a bonus if your place is near to any tourist attraction. So again, use Mr. Google to open the maps and see the routes and everything. If you ask me about budget, I usually spend below than 30 euros for one night in one place. If you get below than 20, you're lucky. If you get 20 to 30, that is normal. And if you're living in a house, you might want to sum up everything if you want to cook. The seventh point is food. If you're planning to cook, then you might want to bring instant food or maybe even rice. And I'm pretty sure if you want to cook, you can find any eggs or onions near to the place. And then it is very important for you to check the halal or haram in one restaurant before you want to eat in that restaurant. The eighth point is how many people you want to go. I would suggest six or less. If you're planning to go more than six people, I bet it's going to be a lot of problems and a lot of chaos. If you want to go for solo, I mean, I won't because I will be lost in the middle of nowhere and then kidnap me and then kill me and I'll be dead and I'll be ghost and be ghost. Okay, I'm sorry. Hey, please make it an even number Especially, 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 especially if you're going with a girl group because in that way, whatever you want to do, you will have a partner. The ninth point is what to bring. Now this one is a lot, okay. Your stuff must be travel friendly, which means the size. And depending uh, if you want to go with a backpack or a luggage, the first is outfit. Summer outfit or winter outfit, it is preferably to share with your friends the clothes so that you don't have to bring many clothes. And please, maybe you don't have to bring the clothes that you have to iron because you can't bring a freaking iron. If you're doing a lot of activities which requires hiking or canoeing or some whatever activities that will make you wet, I might suggest disposable panties. For shoes, I am not the best person to advise you what to bring for shoes because I bring every shoes that I have. For towels, make sure it is a very friendly kind of size. Maybe this size is okay for me. For skincare, you might want to bring a lot of moisturizers if you're going during the winter. And if it's for summer, you might want to bring a lot of sunscreen, a lot of aloe vera, unless if you want to burn. You might also have to bring a makeup cleansing wipes because I bring this everywhere I go in case if you have to take your wood all over again so you have to wipe off your all of your makeups. One thing that is not technically a thing to bring but something that you should download for your apps is the compass kind of apps for your kiblet and the prayer time. It comes in handy when you need to perform a prayer uh, uh, when you are somewhere that is not convenient for you to pray so you need the compass to know where your kiblet is and I will always bring like a shawl uh, for a sajada and just uh, a kain. For girls make sure that all of your tops are covered and you know everything is your chest is covered and everything and if you're wearing jeans you might want to bring kain for you to just sarong and solat ada pada bogang tu. I must say it's going to be uncomfortable because everyone will look at you and literally stare at what you're doing but you gotta do what you gotta do the other thing is an empty bottle because uh, usually Europe countries don't have uh, water in the toilet for you to jebo so you might want to bring an empty bottle everywhere you go for your toiletries pack and your shampoo and everything like that I'd recommend for you to use this kind of travel bag travel toiletries kind of bag like that so I usually put my toiletries on this side and all of my makeups on this side 
So as you can see, all of these sizes are travel friendly. And when I say travel friendly, it means everything must be below than 100 ml or you will get stuck in the security. So for example, for solution, this one is good. It's a good size. This is for toner, for uh, your shower gel, a very small size of toothpaste, your toothbrush, and for shampoo, I happen to have a lot of this kind of samples at my house, so it's it comes in handy when you want to go travel. So I don't ask me where can, can you get this because I have no idea. Uh, I bought this at Primark. Primark is uh, only in most of the Europe countries and it is spelled P-R-I-M-A-R-K and I bought mine in London. It is not a sh online shopping. The next thing is adapters, power bank. Oh my god, please bring power bank. I cannot stress enough how, how important it is for you to bring power bank. For adapters, because Europe countries always have like two chuchuk lubang jel, so if you have like a three chuchuk lubang plug kind of thing, so it is inconvenient. For, so bring adapters, okay? Or maybe extensions. If, if, can you bring extension? Chargers, all kind of chargers. Your handphone chargers, your iPod chargers, your laptop chargers if you want to bring your laptop, your whatever chargers, just bring them. And one last thing is medicine. Maybe Panadol, just for in case. Oh, moving on, oh my god, that was a lot. To the 10th point is safety. First, you must inform your parents about the trip. You must let your parents know where are you going to be on that particular day, where are you going to be on this day, where are you going to be the next day, so that they'll know where you are, so that if an emergency comes up, if something is happening to you, or kind of emergency, so that they'll know where you are, so that they can get help or contact anyone there. The next is your bag. Always. Always. In front of you. Please. Please, I cannot stress this enough that your bags must always be in front of you. No matter what you do, no matter where you go, just don't let your bags slip away somewhere else unless if it's on your tummy. Because a pickpocket thing happened to my friend when she didn't realize that she kind of pushed the bag backwards when she wanted to like push out the earrings or something. About passport, make sure that your passport in a safe place I personally don't bring along my passport every time I go out from the hotel to go shopping or anything so we kind of like put the, all of our passports in one bag which you lock. Please beware of pickpockets because I have seen two failed attempts of pickpockets. One of them was uh, at the Paris subway if I'm not mistaken and the French guy almost like punched him was like don't do this again and the guy was like oh my god please let me go and then they let him go. The next thing is do not put your money in bundle, which means you might have to put $10 here, $10 here, $10 back pocket, or $10 in... Oh my god, no. <laughs> too far. Or maybe $10 inside your Rosma Bongo. Oh, that is way too far, sorry. And the last thing for safety is please do not trust anyone. I'm mean, like, of course, it is normal for you to make friends while you travel, but just do not trust anyone. Because she might be a serial killer and kill ya. The last thing, thank God, the last thing for these travel tips is checklist. You must check all of the things that you want to bring. You might want to check all of your prints. Have you printed out everything? Your flight ticket, your, your train ticket, your accommodation uh, proof kind of thing, or your bus ticket and everything. And put all of that in one file and assign someone to take care of it while you travel. For girls, you might want to check when is your period coming so that you can kind of know how many pads you want to bring or you can just buy your pads and we're there. Why am I talking about this? After everything is checked and you're ready to go and the last thing is have some fun. Go out and party! No, we're party. Haram. I hope you get all that clear and if you have anything else to ask, please leave your questions in the comment down below. Please do not ask me anything that I have mentioned in this video and I hope 
this is beneficial. Good luck. Bye. Place which is convenient for you. <gasps> I have no idea if I'm wearing this tudung right. I look fat. I really hope you guys don't ask me to do a tutorial on how to make this kind of stuff because I have no idea. Just pin wherever you want. Pin wherever you want.